In this video, I'm going to show you the workflow required to use Vue.js along with Laravel. Okay, so right now I have a clean installation of Laravel running on port 8000 using PHP Artisan Serve. And I have installed a few node components. So to get to this point, the few commands which you'll need to run will be like composer create project to install Laravel, right? Uh, once that is done, you can just use npm install so that you know the default node modules for Elixir will be downloaded, which is required for us to use Vue.js. Okay. Um, then the next thing will be if you go to Vue.js.org, okay, and hit install button, you'll see that this is npm install view. So for now in my installation what I have done is I have pulled in Vue.js and Vue router so if I show you my package JSON file okay this is what I have done I have included Vue, Vue router I have bootstrap pull it, pulled in and I have Laravel Elixir VUEPI this is a package which is found on this URL Basically, what it does is view allows us to create one dot vue file where I can write my own script, template, and style. So that can get compiled through this package. But um, you know, I have included it right now, but we are not going to use it in this video. So yeah, so the first step is basically, you know, if you want, you can use this package.json and do npm install and all the dependencies will be um, ready for you okay now let me go to the view file we are on the welcome blade I'll just remove everything from here we don't need this okay and in my app.css because I have included bootstrap already I will include this Let's go into our gulp file. Okay, I have this ready. Okay, and now in my JS file, inside resource assets JS, I have main JS. And in my gulp, I'll just say we'll use browserify. file will be inside no, it's directly browser so main dot js okay um, and then we will version it so mix dot version okay we run gulp things so far good yes so both have compiled successfully which means you now all our paths are correct um, I won't need this anymore so I'll just for some time comment this so that my you know gulp watch and gulp commands are faster so I'll do gulp watch okay so yeah and now all my changes will be tracked immediately and in our main file let's just import view okay from view and in our blade file what do we have inside public we have a CSS yes we have JS so first thing will be CSS slash app.css. Okay, this is done. 
and let me copy this come down before the body tag script src js file is main.js so main js okay let's see if we are getting what we wanted okay app dot css not defined let me see the manifest where is it public okay um okay i haven't versioned it so what i can do is instead come here url css yeah, this should work. No. Main.js is an asset not defined. JS slash main. Oh. Ah, you must have caught that. Anyways, so yeah, we are getting this. Laravel 5 is coming, which is the you know, title. We don't need this anymore. Okay. Um, yeah <coughs> so we have container and that's about it so welcome to view js just change that and now we will close this gulp file we don't require anymore in our main we have created this uh, many times a new view this is our instance we will say the element will be bound to body class and for now data is going to be an object where main is learning view.js okay this should work and now if we come here p tag we have name right so name just we need to take care that because this is going to be you know interpolated by laravel as well so we'll keep this at the rate beforehand and yeah so the browserify has notified us which means you know if we see the js file now it has the view js code but that is the only thing which we are returning now and oh by the way we have the learning view js as well so yes you can see the source code this is what we are getting which means if I now come back here to refresh we are getting this right so you know, so far we have quickly managed to you know kind of run Vue.js in our Laravel application okay and if we want to uh, you know get the last to do app inside Laravel you know get into get it to working we can do that so this is the code which we will quickly add to our laravel code base right so this is my html i will remove this p tag and from here on everything is going to be our code now there will be some double brackets which we'll need to change so I'll quickly search for them. Okay. And this is going to be replaced. This is going to be replaced. And yeah, the rest of them are okay. Fine. So my blade file is ready. And then we will copy everything from our js part so these two components and our main app okay we'll copy this and in our main.js we will paste it okay and with that done let me see when my gulp well, i need to run gulp again Fine. Compilation done. 
hit refresh and yes our app is working the status can change easily i can undo that so yeah that's about it so this is how we can use vue.js in our laravel workflow if you see we have just copied the entire code from our js fiddle into the main.js and this is our gulp file you need to be very particular about your package.json that's how you know, all the packages will need to be included and in the next video what I will do is show you how we can use one single file for individual component so that you now we can completely remove these code from our main JS and segregate them and you know, make individual components. If you like the videos, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.